I'd say that uh, the overall tour is very informative today. Uh, the topography of the of the bayou of Buffalo Bayou was much more severe than we had originally anticipated. Um, the post office uh, structure was actually much better shape than we had uh, originally thought. Uh, downtown Houston is actually a very vibrant place uh, where the transit stations are. Uh, what was very surprising to me was once you left that city center, um, street life quickly dissipated and, and went underground, um, which uh, we'd like to potentially try to reverse that trend in our proposal for the ULI competition. The tour today was fantastic. I thought it was extremely thorough. Uh, we started by seeing our site and uh, getting an understanding of all the different factors that are around our property. And then we got to see downtown in general and the setting in which our, our project exists, as well as like seeing some of the really good uh, successful projects that have been a catalyst for future development. So I got a, I got a, a much better understanding now of um, the climate in which we're proposing a development to happen. My first thought was potential. Um, there's a lot of potential on the site, and uh, you're struck immediately by the views that are, are headed towards downtown. Um, the site offers probably, or what we've been told, are the best views, and you can really see that in person. Uh, we obviously flew around in Google Earth, and you can kind of see that from those images, but you don't really capture that until you're on site. Um, the second thing was, um, the challenging constraints of the site with the interstate on one side, the bayou, um, sort of this uh, island effect of the site, and how to connect all of the surrounding neighborhoods and districts uh, to this site. There's only so much you can do through, through Google Maps you know, and, and online research, so getting to see the site, getting to see the topography changes of the bayou um, were really significant for our design. Learning about the flooding of the bayou and how much of an issue that is is something I think we're, we really need to um, focus on in our next, our next step. The other thing that we learned a little bit related to that question is, is what our demographics would be for these first phases of development. I think that's something that we're going to go back right now and, and change our plans a little bit is to capture a different market. You know, we had a sort of a higher um, economic level in our phase, earlier phases, and I think we need to adjust that to attract sort of the younger crowd. Um, sort of the new economic workers that are coming in out of college and, and are looking for, you know, relatively inexpensive places to live but are still super nice to live in. And we, uh, we missed that a little bit and we're definitely going to try to address that in our plans moving forward. Part of the brief is, is how do you connect to the surrounding neighborhoods and that became very apparent today because there are existing highway infrastructures, um, the bayou itself is um, an obstacle to, to get across and, and connect with downtown and what was really apparent today was this site is centrally located in a way that it can connect to rail opportunities and downtown. I, I think walking along the streets of Houston and seeing the connectivity which it could have um, to Louisiana Street was, was terrific and really eye-opening that Louisiana Street could continue down and it has these public amenities that start to fall off of it as it works its way down um, towards the north. And when it hits our site, this creates a terminus for it. And, and, and that wasn't as apparent um, in the earlier processes. The ULI competition is actually a, an exciting opportunity to work with a diverse field of um, other expertise, um, currently working with real estate people as well as uh, architects. I'm an urban designer myself, so this kind of cross-disciplinary collaboration is very important to me. Uh, and also having a very real project with real needs, uh, not only for a city itself, but also for a potential client like the New Hope Housing. I think the what is so special about the competition is its opportunity to bring together all of these different disciplines. I think many times we work in a sort of bubble um, and we're only concentrated on design or we're only concentrated on environmental conditions or the real estate aspect and I think this not only shows us the importance of working together and collaborating um, but, but just having the opportunity to understand um, the points of view from other disciplines has is, is absolutely been huge and so it's a great uh, program and I really hope it continues in the future.